new gauge pod. People started saying, hey, these things are melting in the sun. Check the catch can. <laughs> well. I feel like I owe you guys a little bit of an explanation as to why the Colorado has been MIA on the channel recently. It's not really on purpose. And I don't have some super crazy truck build. It's not a wide body, long travel truck, which I would love it to be with some like Kibbe Tech suspension. Maybe someday. But it does have leveling kit, tie rod sleeves, diff drop, rear shock skids, full exhaust, tune, wheels, tires, bed mounted spare tire carrier, custom built headlights, LEDs everywhere, intake. That's a pretty nice little OEM plus build, which is the goal while I was going with this truck. Lately, all of my time in the garage has been devoted to generally just cleaning up, reorganizing it, and working on the LS1 E36. That's a pretty big project, and it's ongoing and will forever be ongoing, and that's just taking up a ton of time. I did say the next video of this truck would be me wrapping it. Next video on the truck, the color should be changing. But we ran into a few, three issues actually. Number one, ordered the wrap months ago through Amazon. They sent it to me, I got it, it was the wrong color. It was not like way off the color I ordered, but it was the wrong color. So I sent it back for an exchange for the color I ordered. They sent out another order and it was the wrong color again, the exact same wrong color actually. So I sent it back, I contacted the company, Vivid, V-V-I-V-I-D, just order it through us, but their price is $100 higher. I said, hey, I ordered it through Amazon for this price. Can you match it? They said yes. So I ordered it from Vivid directly. The same day I ordered it from Vivid, they sent me an email said, sorry, sir, just as you had ordered this, it went on back order. So I'm like, okay, great. I said, I still want my order. Just get it to me as soon as you can. Uh, about a month goes by. They said, hey, it's back in stock. We're going to ship it to you. We're going to give you an extra 10 feet of your color for the hassle. I said, okay, that's, that's fine. It wasn't really their fault. It is what it is. So I, I ended up with 110 feet of wrap for my truck, which is almost double what I needed. So hopefully I have lots and lots of extra for when I inevitably mess up pretty much every single panel that I wrap. But the good news is the wrap showed up and it is the right color. You see right here is the 110 foot roll of Vivid Vinyl. Here is the wrap. I'm not gonna show you the color, stop it. But you will see it soon. So with that good news out of the way, just know that the next video will in fact be me attempting to wrap this truck. Now I said attempt because I don't know if I'm actually gonna be able to do it all to a, a decent standard. If I start doing it, it turns out terrible. I'm either not gonna do it or I'm gonna take it somewhere, say here's the wrap, here's the truck, finish it for me. But the next video will be my attempt at it. In the meantime, I do have a little install to do in this video. It's not just all me talking. It is a new gauge pod for my Banks iDash. Now, why do I have a new one, you ask? Well, because American Diesel Power made these and they were seemed to be a high quality part. I really liked it. So they sent them out and then people started saying, hey, these things are melting in the sun. Basically ended up being, oh crap, we 3D printed these out of the wrong material that wasn't heat resistant. So the mine did in fact melt without having to email ADP. Or they sent everyone who purchased the version one out a version two one. And actually I like this one better because it doesn't have a big ADP on the side. It's just a little cleaner, a little different design. I'll show you the old one. So as you can tell, it's uh, well, it now points down when it used to sit like that. Um, it doesn't sit flush anymore. And it's, it doesn't really hold itself in at all. She's, she's melted. She melted for sure, which I knew was gonna happen after they emailed me telling me that it was in fact going to melt and they were sending a new one. You can see pretty big difference. The new one is more satin, doesn't have that big ADP on the side and is actually shorter. Looks like same general design. I like it. Much better. Now it points at me again. Much, much nicer, boys. See, it's nice and solid in there. Fits pretty well. The gauge isn't moving anywhere. It's good to go. I'm also gonna check the catch can because I haven't checked it since I installed it. So see how full it is. <laughs> well, 
There's just about nothing in there. What? That's it, folks. Well, I think that answers that boy. I don't know if it's because of the exhaust and tuning. I'm not exactly sure, but that's hardly anything. So I'll update the screen here with the mileage and month I installed that Keps can on. So off the top of my head, I don't remember. Here it is. Either way, didn't collect much. I didn't see oil spewing out of any of my intercooler pipes either, so I guess that's a good thing. That's about it, guys. Just a quick update on the Colorado and why you haven't seen it for a bit. Bottom wrap will be in the next video. Check out my Instagram if you want more regular content. We'll see you next time.